This video is kindly sponsored by Wren. Do you ever feel like you're truly in the moment, present in the here and now? Often in our society, I feel so disconnected, not only from our natural world, but with myself. Spending time in the woods has always re-energised my soul and allowed space for reflection and perspective which is needed in our flashy, conventional lives. I believe so strongly on the saying, you have to disconnect to truly reconnect. Going out of doors is like going home. Morning. I have had a coffee and some Weetabix this morning. Good start to the day. I'm now going to start some archery because I haven't done archery in such a long time and thought I'd get back in the groove of it and give it a shot. Whilst I'm here I also want to say a massive happy birthday to one of my Patreons, Damon. Happy birthday for the 26th. Hope you've had or are going to have a lovely day.
just been on a long walk and now I'm gonna cook some food. So I've literally just got some toast on. Most breakfast eve dinner going, but got some toast, avocado and some eggs. I'm gonna do that. Really nice. Um that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. And I've just cut down some birch as I'm gonna make a spatula because I'm in need of one. So just finished my food, that was really nice, enjoyed that. And I'm gonna think about doing my spatula in a bit. The day's been really nice and chilled and it's been so good to be back here and really live in the present. It's been nice also watching nature and all the seasons and everything, but you can notice a big difference with the growth of everything compared to last year. And I think what I found really interesting recently is learning more about climate change and how the planet is changing gradually due to how we are affecting it um, as humans. And I found it interesting going over to Wren and finding a little bit more information out on that. And I want to thank Wren for sponsoring today's video. The climate crisis is something that is massively impacting our planet, but is left unspoken. The rate of destruction that we are going at the minute will leave future generations in a very different world, with more animals going extinct and more rainforests being destroyed. Wren is a public benefit company that has put $1 million into planting trees, protecting rainforests and on the whole fighting climate change. Your contribution will fund things such as community tree planting, conservation and mineral weathering in Scotland. You can simply answer a few questions about your lifestyle. You can find out your carbon footprint and how to reduce it, which I found very interesting whilst doing the survey. You can then make a monthly contribution to offset your carbon footprint and give something back. Once you've signed up, you can receive monthly updates from the projects you support with photos, details of trees planted and every tonne of carbon offset. The first 100 people that sign up will get 10 extra trees planted in their name. I will supply the link in my description below this video. How dark outside you can really see how short the days are and um, yeah it definitely have gained back some time but the days are pretty short and you can see that you spend a lot more time in here than outside it's just crazy you wake up in the dark and you go to sleep in the dark so I feel for the countries that only get like two hours two hours of daylight at the minute everything in here is gone a bit damp and a bit mouldy. All of my Dutch ovens have gone quite rusty where it's been quite damp in here. So 
so I've got the wood burner on to dry everything out and um, I'm currently scrubbing my FT6 Dutch oven from Petromax I'm working with this lantern this is a new lantern and I want to thank Hocker Light for sending me this to try out it's a great little addition for like base camp or if you're car camping so it's quite bulky but it kicks out a lot of light and it's got multiple settings on there but what else I like is um, you can charge your phone from this USB port that's on the side of it which is pretty cool not even your phone it could be anything and you can chuck it in there so I find this really cool and I like it and it's nice just to walk around camp with it and have it in my car I've been using it probably for a month now I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested Right, the burner has now died out. I'm gonna hit the hay now, so night everyone, I will see you tomorrow. Morning. I can't speak this morning, I don't know why. <laughs> I got myself a coffee. I'm probably gonna get some more wheat a bit to set me up for the day. For probably about two weeks now, I have bought out this new sleeping bag, and it is the Corinthia, I think that's how you say it, Caffinia, Corinthia Defence 6. And it's been so warm, it's still too hot now. I think it's better to use it as like a quilt than a natural sleeping bag, but it's been so nice. And obviously I've got my cot bed, and that's been brilliant. And um, one of my lovely patrons bought me a mattress. You know you are, thank you so much. And I still use that and it's brilliant. So that is my sort of winter setup I guess. Right, I'm gonna smother you with <laughs> New Year's resolutions now. And this is one of them, I think. I've always done this for about a couple of years now and you either love it or you hate it. But I love um like journaling each day. It's just something I enjoy doing and it's nice to look back on. It's nice to Learn where you're moving forward and what's going on in your head. I was watching a video and it was pretty cool. And I'm trying to think of the channel name. Because I just remember the woman because she's the one who does it. And her name's Elsa. But they live in like a, a van I think it is. But she did a video with this journal. Cause I, and it's got like dotted lines in it. And it's basically bullet journaling. And yeah. It's quite interesting learning about how you operate through doing bullet journaling and you basically set up a grid and you can just track everything in here. So I've tracked my periods, my exercise, what I eat and my sleeping pattern and how that affects your mood um, and your food intake. To say you were trying to quit something then you could note that down and see how much you do actually eat it and then also just actual writings from each day that's what I try and do each morning thank you so much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it thank you so much to all my patrons for making this possible